Hi guys, welcome to the jungle. Today we're going to be talking about your Kenyan Sambos going off their food. So guys, one of the main things I see popping up with uh, in relation to Kenyan Sambos, especially this time of year, is my snake isn't eating, what do I do? Now the first thing you need to think, do you have a male? If you have a male, there's a very high chance that it isn't feeding because it's currently breeding season. It is not uncommon for males to only eat 6 to 12 times a year when mature. During breeding season especially, some males just won't eat at all. They're too focused on trying to find a female, get the deed done, and don't even want to think about food. This is completely normal and fine. All I would suggest with this is weigh in your animal once a month or so, just to check there isn't any significant weight loss, and you should be fine. The next thing you want to double check on, um, if it's a female, say, or even if it is a male and it's gone a significant amount of time without feeding, um, is check your husbandry. You want your temperature, your humidity to be spot on. If that isn't right, then your snake body won't be able to function properly. They may become stressed. They may just not want to move around or behave normally because their bodies aren't reaching the levels that they need to. You get that back on track, a couple of weeks maybe, get your snake back to normal. Hopefully they'll take their food again. Another thing to think is... These animals are nocturnal, so sometimes feeding them in the day, they they'll, won't feel as comfortable. They'll be resting, sleeping, they'll be a bit more weary because it's light. Try feeding them in the evening at dusk or at night time, and hopefully they'll take with the, with the lights down lower. Another thing I'd suggest with animals that are problem feeders, don't try and feed them too often. Sometimes if some people will try and feed them, oh, my snake didn't feed this day, so I'll try it tomorrow, I'll try it the day after. That can be too much, even... Trying to feed a snake, snake weekly that isn't feeding, I would span that out. Sometimes I will have a male that will have a bit of a problem with feeding, which is perfectly normal. He won't eat. I'll try him a couple of weeks, not working. I'll leave him for maybe three, four, five weeks, try him again. Bang, he'll go. And that's just how you've got to kind of get around those little things, you know? Another thing I would say about Ken Sambos is, unlike other snakes where you can kind of look at their body, and maybe give them something a little bit thicker than the thickest part of their body. That's not always the case with Sambo. They can eat something that size, and some will, but I find a lot of them like a smaller prey size, so trying something maybe a little bit smaller just to entice them, they'll go for it. And, you know, in my opinion, it's better to get something in them than try and keep trying to give them something big and they're not going to go for it. I mean, you still give them something small, they'll get feeding, and they're still going to grow and gain benefit from that. Um, so as well, I would say, um, a lot, I see a lot of people just kind of leaving the prey item in the enclosure and hoping their snake will come and eat it. And that works fine for some people, but for others, I'd say maybe your snake needs a bit of stimulus. So what I like to do is to kind of simulate what would happen in the wild. If you imagine you've got your snake, that's the substrate and your snake is popping its head up like that, waiting for something to come. So I get some tongs and I'll dabble the, the mouse or the rat around the substrate and then hopefully when it gets near the snake, bang, it'll go for it. The snake will be feeling those vibrations as if the animal was alive and hopefully go for it. As well, another thing I would say, imagine this is the, the snake's head here. <laughs> I know these aren't very good uh, <laughs> analogies, but <laughs> you kind of, I hope you get the idea. Um, imagine it's, its mouth is there, they're kind of underneath. Just kind of gently push the prey item against them out and sometimes they'll go for it just sometimes giving them that little bit of oh there's there's something alive around sometimes gets them to go um there are some other techniques you can try um such as braining you can kind of uh, put a little cut on the the prey arm's head just to kind of get some fluid out and kind of the scent of that i suppose kind of drives the snake more towards it and um, rubbing them in uh, like chick feathers or like cutting open a chick and rubbing them in the guts and stuff that can help um, and that's just one of the, some of the little tricks you can try. Um, as always, with everything, if it does go a significant amount of time, you know, a, f a few past six months and you're just having no luck at all, or even further, then, and your husbandry's all right, and you've asked people and you just can't do anything, then maybe you need to take your animal to a vet. And that's something you need to think about. But as well, I would say don't panic, because these snakes are known for going off food. As I said, males... I've been known to go six to 12 months without feeding. 
Females tend, generally tend to be pretty good, but they can run into issues. But I mean, you know, sometimes your snake just doesn't want to feed. Um, but they're just a couple of little things that can cause them not to want to eat or some little tips that can help them feed. So, I mean, yeah, if you want to try some of those things and hopefully they work for you and also hopefully you have a little bit of a better understanding. Um, now, I'm just going to show you some of my males and just kind of show you their size and in relation to when they've eaten or not and just show that they're all fine. Right, guys, so just for the purpose of this video, I've taken everything apart from the water dishes out of my uh, my two males' enclosures. So, I'm just go here. So, I bred one of my males this year to my female. Um, which is this fella in here, my albino. Just dig him out with a with a hook a sec. Here he is. So this fella is the bigger of my two males, and I don't actually remember the last time he he ate. Um, I've tried him with food, and he just doesn't seem interested. But he is holding a stable weight, thankfully. Um, which is fine, you know, and he's still very active. I see him about all the time. He's drinking, he's going to the toilet, and he's completely fine. He's got a good body shape on him, and there's nothing to worry about. It's still kind of in, in between breeding season, and this year was the first year that he had a go, should we say. So I think, you know, he's still after more. Fortunately, he'll have to wait till next year or the year after, depending on my breeding plans. But he'll be fine, you know, and, and that's one of the things you have to look out for as well. I mean, this guy... Hasn't eaten in a fair few months, but as you can see, he's got a good good body shape, um, which is something you want to look out for. Um, you want to make sure that they're staying hydrated. Um, and as long as they're behaving as normal, it's completely fine. So as with that, I'd say there's not really anything to worry about. This fella in here, I completely forgot where he just was because I just figured out where he was. So bear with me. Um, very... Good camera work here, I know. So this is my, my other male. It's my Annery. Now, he is smaller than the albino, and he hasn't been bred. Um, but the last three weeks, this guy has eaten for me. He is not a great deal smaller than my uh, albino, but he did eat. So one thing that I will say I did try with these guys is they they are heated with a, a heat mat and i will have the heat mat on in the day and turn it off at night now that works fine but what i tried about three four weeks ago is i kept my heat mat on during the night as well and that seemed to push this guy to feed so thankfully the last three weeks he's had a meal in him so i know now that even if he doesn't eat for the next few months then he's fine but by all accounts he hopefully should keep feeding for me and get a bit more size in him and be ready for breeding for next year so that's just my males um that's just a brief thing just showing you talk about checking their their body size making sure that's okay and um that they're doing everything normally and there's nothing to worry about so um yeah we'll just uh i'll just put everything back in their their enclosure and We'll move on to my uh, my female. So here's my female who I fed the other night. As you can see, she already um, caught the, the the scent of the food, so she's quite eager to get that. So she's coming after it, and she will go for it eventually. As you can see she looks to make a bit of a mess in her enclosure, knock a water bowl everywhere, but that's easily sorted. But yeah, I just thought I'd add this little clip in just to show you uh, a Kenyan eating. Um, I sped this up a little bit, as you'll see now. And um, yeah, it just looks pretty cool. But yeah, I just hope you enjoy this little footage. I hope you've learned something from this video. And yeah, I just hope I'll uh, see you in the next video.